Hey, Sage here. Today, I kind of wanted to talk about my history with tiny home living and uh, my, my rig choices throughout the years. I will say that the rig that I was in when I first started living small is much different than the rig that I'm in now. Um, and that's because the needs that I had for tiny living were very different than, than they are now. And I expect that in the future, my needs are probably going to change again. And with that, my tiny living situation will also change. So when I first started out living tiny, I had just quit a job that I had been working nine years. I wanted to see the country and I wanted to do it fast and I wanted to uh, be nimble and quick. I moved into a, a 2006 Honda Element that I already owned with my dog Kopech and uh, we made a, a quick trip around the, around the country hitting as many national parks, seeing as many friends as we possibly could and we did all that in about eight months. It was a great situation then. It was obviously a really small space but we spent most of our time outdoors anyway so that was perfect for us. When I returned from that trip I found myself presented with a work opportunity that allowed me to live in a vintage Airstream trailer and I lived in that Airstream for about a year and a half through that employment opportunity. I think that opportunity met my needs really well for that, that particular stage of my life because uh, with that work opportunity, I was able to park that Airstream in one spot and keep it there. So I had kind of a home base. I could take weekend trips, but it also was a great way for me to, to be stationary, have some stability and save some money. However, I think that that amount of space was maybe a little too much for me at the time and being stationary was a little bit too confining and constricting. I want a little more freedom to move and freedom to go. So I ended up moving back into my Honda Element and I moved up to Bend, Oregon, which is where I'm currently based out of. Shortly after I moved up to Bend, my now partner Kat also moved up there in her van. Uh, we started dating and lived in separate vehicles for a while. Neither my Honda Element or her van were big enough for both of us and our two dogs, um, so we kind of kept it separate. We had the opportunity earlier this year to move temporarily into a short school bus, and uh, we spent about three months in the school bus and found that it was a good amount of space for us, but it presented its own challenges. My particular work required me to be out and moving around frequently, whereas Kat's more computer-based work uh, forced her to be back at camp or needing to stay stationary for a long time. So if I had to go while we were both in the bus, she had to pack up her work and she had to go too, which was challenging for us. So with that, we kind of deduced that maybe a tow behind camper would be the best situation for us because we could park this here at camp and take the van out into town or me off on a shoe or whatever. We, we had the ability to separate so that we could both continue to work and kind of have separate spaces. So that's the situation that we're in now. We live in this tiny little A-frame camper that's towed by Kat's van that she had had before. I doubt that this will be our final tiny living situation, the one that we settle on. We may be serial rig changers, uh, but maybe we'll find a situation that works better for us or we'll set it, settle into a lifestyle that is kind of more long-term, more, more sustainable. All that to say that for me, living tiny wasn't necessarily about the type of tiny living situation that I have. It wasn't about being in a tiny house or being in a van or anything like that. It's more about the opportunities that it affords me and the things that it allows me to do. And I find that as my needs change, I also kind of need to change my rig. Some people pick a rig and find themselves happy with that rig for a long time. That's not my case. But I do think that if you find yourself with changing needs, it's okay to switch rigs. It's okay to move from a van to a tiny home or a school bus to a camper like this if that's what suits your needs in regards to tiny living. So that's a brief look at my history with Living Tiny. I'm excited to share more of what we've learned with you guys.